and stick weed. You want to dance, Ron? I want a polka. If you like pina coladas, get caught in the rain. If you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain, if you'd like making love at midnight, in the tunes of the cake. Hello everyone, this is Chef Butters with the video on the major differences between both factions, Alliance and Horde. Now you could get into the differences of how the Horde have better access to dungeons while leveling and the Alliance arguably have better access to the early raids, but the Horde have better access to the later game raids. Horde have the edge in PvP, while Alliance have the edge in PvE. My biggest tip to you is play whatever race or faction your soul tells you to play. You're going to spend a good amount of time playing this character. Don't let the racials and factions decide what your heart tells you. If you follow this, it will give you longevity in Azeroth. Now, if you are more inclined to min-max, then strap in and let's talk about some of the major differences between both the factions. I could go on forever talking about fine details, but we are going to just discuss what I consider the more important and larger differences. Come down to the comments below and let me know what you find to be major differences if I miss something. So let's jump right in. Besides racial differences between the two factions, and in a quick nutshell, shell, they are both pretty equal as far as PvE racials are concerned. What is the major factor differences between the Horde and Alliance in PvE? It comes down to Shaman versus Paladin as far as PvE is concerned. So going right for the meat and potatoes of this conversation, this is really a conversation about Wind Fury versus Greater Blessing of Salvation. Wind Fury Totem, although it is fun and pretty great damage increaser for the Horde's melee, not to mention it allows Warriors with a two-hander to go into Molten Core without the proper amount of hit gear, which I just want to mention is fine, but if you can get your hit gear, going in as a Fury is definitely superior. But that is another topic for another day. Wind Fury is great, no doubt. But can Blessing of Salvation stand up? Well, maybe let's catch up on something real quick about an important factor of Classic WoW, and that is the importance of threat generation and watching your threat meters. Until I played a bit on a private server last year, I forgot just how much threat used to be a more important factor to the game of World of Warcraft. So with Blessing of Salve giving your raid 30% less threat generation, this makes tanks on the Alliance side life a lot nicer and gives the DPS a lot more opportunities to pump harder. Now before we jump into the differences between the PvP racials of these two factions, I wanted to discuss the differences in the healing between Paladins and Shamans. So really quickly, I think the way to look at both of these classes for healing is simply this. Shamans are better for raid heals with their chain healing, and Paladins are better for single target for tank heals as the Paladins carry virtually no AOE heals. As long as Shamans put their totems down in good positioning, they both offer wonderful buffs to the team, so overall, they are both great in their own right for healing. Okay, so getting into PvP. Horde takes the cake in PvP, with racials like Hardiness giving Orcs a chance to resist stuns by 25%, Will of the Forsaken, and Tarns coming in with War Stomp. Plus, let's not forget Tarns get about an extra three yards to the attack range. So this can become a great for melee as a Tarn, especially in PvP situations. Alliance is not left out in the cold completely, with racials like Escape Artist for the Gnomes, Perception for the Humans, Extra Dodge and the ability Shadow Meld for the Night Elves, and Stoneform for the Dwarves, Alliance built PvP abilities just come in to their effectiveness for less situations. At the end of the day, play what you want to play. It will in most cases keep you more happy for the longevity of your time in Azeroth. However, if you give more shits about min-maxing, then you can consider these differences a bit more heavy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are interested in more Classic WoW videos, I post them weekly. So hit that sub button to join our small family here and have a wonderful day. Cheers.